Now, when it comes to editing your scripts and shaders in Unity, there's a couple different choices for which IDE or integrated development environment you're going to use. You, of course, could use Mono Develop, which is supplied with Unity. You can also use Visual Studio, uh, which is what I've been using. And if you're a real programmer, we all know that you're going to write your entire game in Notepad. But since we're not trying to waste time here, I've always thought, why doesn't Unity just have a built-in solution for editing scripts so I don't have to rely on another program, another IDE to, to edit my scripts? And that's when I found Script Inspector 3. Now, I could tell right off the bat by the number of ratings, Unity Awards finalist, that this asset is definitely a solid asset. So I went ahead and picked it up and I've been really impressed with it. Let me show you just a real quick example. I'm gonna create a new game object and add a script to it. I'll call it new script and we'll say create and add. Now normally, I would just double click this, open it up with my IDE, but you can see here what's happened is it's opened it up with script inspector. Now this is its own Unity window. I could uh, dock it wherever I want or just make it a free floating window. Um, drag it to my monitor on the side, which is what I probably will do. Or you could even dock it, you know, wherever you want to um, on the different, just like a regular Unity window. And now we're ready to start editing the script. Now, at first I thought it couldn't be as good with Visual Studio as far as the audio autocomplete and the contextual stuff. And it turns out it has all the stuff and it works just as good. So it's doing the it's doing the autocomplete for everything, all the Unity components. And then, you know, you come down here and I'm gonna say my collider, it's everything autocompletes, you know, get components, there it is. We're gonna get the collider, of course. Everything's working just as good and easily as Visual Studio. Now, when I was going through on the asset store, I noticed right here that it says it features a custom made advanced C sharp parsing and code analysis engine. Thanks to a novel approach to code analysis, SI3 can even outperform any other IDE, yes, including Visual Studio. And I thought, well, how could it actually do a better job than Visual Studio does? Well, let me open up a script of mine just to show an example of that. So I'm going to open up my player controller 3D script. And of course, it has all the contextual uh, mouse over information that, that, that I'm used to doing. Of course, if I put my mouse over layer mask, it's going to tell me layer mask allow you to display the layer mask pop up menu in the inspector. And if I'm in Visual Studio, I'm going to see the same information but let's look at a different variable here player id i'm going to put my mouse over this integer player id in one active scene objects player 3d so it's telling me for this variable what object is being used in the scene and of course the object is this one right here player 3d and if it was being used in more game objects it would tell us and it would tell us which game objects those are now, in Visual Studio, if I put my mouse over, I don't get anything like that. Of course, because Visual Studio isn't linked to the Unity scene. But there's the advantage, and that's just one example of, uh, of I guess, outperforming Visual Studio as far as, uh, as, far as an IDE and, and the contextual information, the code analysis, everything. So I'm pretty new to this. I'm, I don't know everything how it works. Um, I'm learning and I'm finding out that it's actually a powerful tool that is more powerful than, than Visual Studio is in certain aspects like this right here. Um, but another one is, let's say if I just click on, let's say I'm in my scene view and I just click on this script. Here it is popped up right in the inspector. I can add my, my public variables or, it, you know, of course, whatever I want to do. I can do all the editing right here in the inspector without actually going to this, you know, this other window that perhaps I have over on my other monitor. But if I just want to do a really quick change in the script, I just need to click on it. It's going to pop up right here in the script inspector and I can do my 
my editing. Super, super handy, useful. Now it even has all of the search functions that you would expect to find search and replace. Right up here, there's a search. I could type in ground and press F3. You can see it's actually highlights it really nice and easy. You could find what you're searching for so easily. So it has all the same search, um, search and replace, the keyboard key bindings as far as um, cop, uh, copying, pasting, duplicating, all the all the keyboard bindings that, you, that you're used to using. Even It even has the go-to definition, which is on F12. So let's say you, uh, you have a variable such as running. You can press F12. It's going to take you right to where that variable is defined. And the same thing, of course, works for functions so if there's a function being called for example check for ground I could just press F12 it's gonna take me right to where that uh, function is defined and so all this all the stuff that you're used to having in your IDE is right here and easily accessible and editable in the inspector so this of course is on sell if you're watching uh, within a week or so of when this video is posted, it will be on sale for the Unity Mega Cell. And I also got a couple of voucher codes, two of them to give away. So if you would like to receive a free copy of this, I'm doing a giveaway. To enter the giveaway, just put a comment down below, say whatever you want, maybe link a screenshot to a project you're working on. So, um, you know, or just put a comment down below. And then in tomorrow's video I will announce the winner I've got two codes for this to give away so click the link in the description to check this out on the asset store I think it's gonna save me a lot of time in my projects going forward and huge thanks to flipbook games for providing a couple of vouchers congratulations to anybody who wins the giveaway and stay tuned for more giveaways we got another one coming up tomorrow I'll see you guys in the next video